shining a bright red as always. It is I, Red Luster, and welcome to Lost in Vivo. A neat little horror game that I happen to come across hidden in the depths of YouTube. And I found it on Steam. So we're going to have fun with this one. I've been looking forward to this one. So how are you feeling? Do you feel these sessions are still helping? You could try something a little more... direct. We could start you in vivo exposure therapy. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. The sensitivity. Oh, wow. Oh, I have a doggy. Doggy. Oh, I'm taking my dog for a walk. How nice. I have a nice little corgi. And that's one of my favorite kinds of dogs. Because they're so small. They're so cute. They're like little potato, little fuzzy potatoes with legs. Little stumpy legs. They're, they're just cute little dogs. That's just nice. A nice little walk with my dog. Uh oh. Oh man, it's raining. A game by Akuma Kira. Well, congratulations, Akuma Kira, on showing up in my video. I don't know why I say that, but, you know. Oh, what's this? Lost jo Johns at... I can't read that. It's too damaged. But whatever, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have anything to do with this anyway. Just going for a walk with my, I'm guessing, support corgi, seeing the harness on him. Ah, jeez. With music by Akuma Kira, Jared Christ, and Nolan Reese. Well, it is very atmospheric. I do like that. I guess I'll walk a little faster than my Corgi, because I keep catching up to him. Okay, jeez, I get it, it's raining. Man, I am much harder, it might be a flood. It looks like the street's already flooding, actually. I don't like this. I'm just walking my dog. Getting a little nervous that something may be behind me. What? No! My dog! You're right we're going after him. Oh. Lost in vivo. Ah. Uh, it's super dark. Oh. That's nice. I have a flashlight. Uh, can I? Yeah, lower the sensitivity. Okay, that's a lot less... Uh, 
That's a lot less spinny. I mean, it's still kind of sensitive. Hot cross. I don't know what that is. I mean, it, I should lower the sensitivity just a little bit more. Okay, space the whistle, apparently. Oh, yeah, space the whistle. What about it? <gasps> I, my doggy! I whistle for my doggy! Wherever he may have gone. Where is my doggy? I guess I should give him a name. Uh. Okay, I guess it's just random graffiti. Or I guess the graffiti refers to something I just don't know about. Ugh. Uh. What was I getting ready to say? I completely for I've completely lost track of what I was getting ready to say. Oh, this seems like the right way. Oh wait. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm pretty sure this is. Hello. I don't like that. Press I to check inventory. Oh, flashlight. Uh, old military flashlight. Always keep it with me in case I get trapped somewhere. Can't bear to leave the house without it. The batteries are long lasting. I had and had guaranteed the last all game written on the package, whatever that means. Game manual. WSD to move, crouch left control, sprint, whistle space, R reload, change weapon mouse wheel, Q attack left mouse, block right mouse, pause, escape. Torn leash, my dog's leash. They got torn in a broken sewer grate. Ah, oh. key ring. Key ring that holds all the keys I have. And your car key! An old tape I found at home. If I find a tape player, I should listen to it. Pound is written on it. Okay. Uh. What's this? Oh, I got a sledgehammer. Do I equip it? How do I equip it? Oh. Jeez. Talk about weight. I didn't mean to do that, but it happened. This is a hefty thing. But okay, we, we're armed now. That's good. Uh, more graffiti. Hello? Hey, spooky monsters that want to jump out at me? I got a sledgehammer. And it's got your name written all over it. If I listen carefully, I can actually tell which direction the barking is coming from. Which is a very nice detail, I must say. Kudos to the creator for being able to do that. Oh, I don't like that. 
My dog didn't answer. I got some mysterious whistler. Uh. I don't like that. I feel... I feel like I'm in a bad situation now. Oh, now I'm not even getting answered? Did you take my dog? I have a sledgehammer. There's not much on TV nowadays, so I thought I'd make my own show. I started putting food and rancid meat in a useless old box, and all sorts of little critters would come out and play. It was really relaxing just to sit on the sofa and watch the meat. But the small critters started to attracting larger ones to the show. Some horrid, putrid thing kept coming by to watch, so I'd just pretend to be asleep until it passed. But I think it knows I'm awake. I think it's watching me, not the show on TV. Oh. Oh, I see. You got some meat. There's a slice of pizza, some donuts. You're just watching the grubs eat it. Okay. I mean, if there's really nothing else on TV... I guess Grubs is more entertaining than nothing. I like this sledgehammer. You can really feel the weight of it. Even though it's a little janky. My eyes are useless. All they do is sting and show me stuff that can't be real. If that ranted thing wants them, then I say let it have them. Uh... Oh... Well, uh... I don't know if tearing out your own eyes is a good idea. That, uh... Sounds painful. Oh. Uh... That's weird. Wait a minute. I don't remember this being here. I could have sworn this wasn't here when I walked up to it. Hello? What? Oh, hi! Bam! Oh, you got a nice smile. And no eyes, I guess. I'll take that. You weirdo. Nothing against weird people, just saying. Huh? What? Doggy! Doggy! No! Wait, where are you going? Oh, uh, something dragged him away? Oh. Uh. Excuse me one second. <coughs> Sorry, a little frog in my throat. What should we call the dog? Seeing as he's the main objective. Uh, I'm gonna call him Buddy. I gotta go get Buddy. He's my little fuzzy buddy. Uh. Buddy? But he's still not answering my whistles. Don't worry, buddy, I'm coming for you. Uh... I'm coming for you. Don't worry, buddy. Uh-oh! What? I do not appreciate you turning off my flashlight. I like this flashlight. It helps me see. 
Uh oh. Another meat pile. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Oh wait, all hope abandoned, technically, ye who enter here. Well, I never had a lot of hope to begin with. Oh, I don't like that actually. Oh, I can't leave now. I don't like this. I can still swing my uh my uh my axe, <laughs> my sledgehammer. So that's nice. Hello, buddy. Buddy. Here, boy. Okay. Um. Buddy? I don't like these noises. What? What? But we're just not gonna address that. We're not gonna address that. Okay. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. I. Okay. This looks nice. Oh, a sacrificial altar to the sewer gods, I can only assume. Oh, I didn't mean to jump. Oh god, I don't like this. This is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Uh. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, these sounds are so gross. They're squidging in my head. Whatever that means. I don't know, squidging to sound like the right word for it. Oh. That's nice. Just off into the abyss, I guess. Uh... Uh-oh. I don't like that. I don't like that. Where is it? Oh! Hi there! I'll fight you! I- 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 I have a slight- uh... I don't want to fight you. You know, you look you look a lot weaker than the other one, but... I don't know, you're just more gross looking. I want to... Can I get back to my dog, please? Please? I just... Okay. Okay. It's a circus! It's a circus of horrors! Uh-oh, this one broke out! Uh... Okay, just keep going. Just keep going, just keep going. I have a sledgehammer. I have a sledgehammer. I have a sledgehammer. 
I have a sledgehammer. I can fight if I need to. I am I'm like a cornered animal. Once you get me in a corner, I'll break your teeth in. Oh man. Oh come on, enough with that sound. Uh oh. Pick up. Damaged handgun? Oh. Nice. Why'd I get a damaged handgun? I guess I gotta go back. Uh oh. Uh. Hello? Buddy! Buddy? What? Purple cat? Why is there a purple cat? Oh. Save? Oh. Game saved. Okay. This is a save point. That's nice to know. I'm gonna pause it here. You know what? I've been playing long enough, and I'm really glad I got to a save point, because now I can stop. Oh boy. This game is intense. It doesn't let up for even a moment. Well, it just did, but... You know, when it's actually getting scary, it's it's pretty unrelenting. I'm kind of surprised I didn't get attacked during that beginning part that much, except for the eyeless guy. And I was so ready for that thing that was crawling after me to show up at the end of that tunnel, but never did. Uh, I don't know if I, it would attack me if I went back for it. I don't know, but it, I got away from it, I guess. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Lost in Vivo. What do you think of it so far? It's pretty creepy, ain't it? I certainly think so. Uh, well, anyway, uh, this has been Red Luster, signing out.